All right, so the next thing to talk about is uh, go run, go build, and go install. So I am in the directory, right? I'm in 01 hello world, which is this directory right here. And we're gonna talk about uh, first go run. So go run, where am I? Why didn't that work? Go run, go run, hello, there we go. So that, that did it. So I put go run and then the file name, hello.go, and it runs that file, okay? So go run, hello, go, runs that, and I get my output, hello world. Uh, I could also do go build. When I do go build, it builds a binary and it drops it in the same folder where I'm at. Okay, so uh, it also could just build it and, and show you if there are any errors and then and not drop a binary in. If you don't see a binary, I think that that might happen on Windows. But on Mac, there it is. And so right here from Mac, I could run uh, I could run that. Hello world. And notice how it named my program, right? It named my program the same as the folder name. Interesting, right? So that's where it picked up its name. Not from the file name, but from the folder name. Go install. Watch what happens if I do go install. I'm going to come over here and go into my Go workspace. I'm going to look at my bin folder. And I'm just going to delete all this except for that one. And those, and this, and delete those. All right, watch what happens when I do my uh, go install. So I'm going to do go install. And I put 01 hello world right there in my binary folder. These are my binary executables that I've created with Go program. So go install installs binary executable in your bin folder. That's what go, go install does. So now I can just type in, since in, in my path variables, in my path variables, echo dollar path, right, I have a path that goes to right here users tm documents go workspace bin so now when i type in 01 hello world my computer is going to look down all of my environment variables and see if it could find that executable and then run it and it found it because it when it looked down all of the different environment variables it finally went down this one and said ah there it is and it ran it right and so i could just type in the name of my my program by doing that so that's the difference between go run, go build, and go install. So these are just some of the fundamentals of working with Go. And go install also cleaned up that one right there from that folder. So I'm going to change this name because generally speaking, it's a good idea to call the folder that has package main and func main to call it main so you know where all your main stuff is. That's generally a good idea. Any questions? Yeah, that has to be, you have to have one package main for your program to run. And it has to have bunk main. And then it'll take on, your executable will take on the name of the folder. And this can be called anything, but it's a good idea to call main.go if it's holding your package main funk main. All right. Any other questions? What was going to be named after the folder? After what? You said something would be named after the folder name. Uh, your executable. So if I do a go build or go install, it'll compile all of my code, turn it into an executable, and give it the name that my folder has. Cool? Cool. Cool. And yeah, not cool. Keep going. Main.go has to be called main.go? No, this could be called anything. Okay, because this could be called anything. This has to be package main, that has to be funk main. Okay. You gotta have that. Because uh, the text editor was naming things for me. That dirty dog. <laughs> it's not always doing a naming. 